Here I'm going to solve this system of linear equations using Cramer's rule. So the first thing I need to check for is to make sure that my system has equations that are all in standard form. So xy equals a number and xy equals a number. So indeed they are in standard form. So I can assign the variables now. So straight across a, b, c, d, e, f. So now I'm going to write all these determinants uh, with members a, b, c, d, e, f and I'll plug in all the numbers. So BC is 7, 5, and EF is 1, negative 9. Okay, so the denominator, which you'll notice the denominators are the same. DEAB, so DE, so negative 2, 1, AB, 3, and 7. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that down here because they're the same. So now let's get my numerator for my y, df, so df, so negative 2, negative 9, and ac, 3 and 5. So now it's just a matter of simplifying each one of these ratios. So 7 times negative 9 is negative 63 minus 1 times 5. My denominator looks like negative 14 minus 3. So this looks like a negative 68 divided by negative 17, which means my x value is 4 when I divide those. Okay, so I know that my denominator for my y's will be the same thing. So let's just focus on the numerator. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 minus 3 times negative 9 is negative 27 so I'm going to add negative 10 plus 27 is 17 and 17 divided by negative 17 is going to be negative 1 so the solution for x is 4 the solution for y is negative 1 so the solution to this system is the ordered pair 4 negative 1